It's in the face of this sin. It's in the face of these temptations. It's in the face of all that this flesh represents that we see the true grace of God. And we're humbled before Christ. And we're brought to look again and again and again to his sacrifice alone as our only hope. So just as he left Israel to contend against the enemy by his grace, he's going to manifest his strength in us. And that's what it says over here in Exodus 23 and verse 30. By little and little, I will drive them out from before thee until thou be increased. There's that strength. It goes contrary to what we think. You mean to tell me that in the face of these trials and temptations, we're being strengthened by God's grace? The enemy's no less. Still, this flesh is still what it is, but we're kept by the very power and grace of God. You know, in John chapter 17, if you look over there, John chapter 17. And I believe it's so important just to tell you straight up how it is, because there's some that preach another gospel. They say, well, if you'll just give yourself to Jesus, all will be well. You'll have victory over your sin. You'll have victory over your flesh. You, they put it in a sense of you'll be able to, to rise above the plane and live on this higher plane in life. There's no such thing. Just like there wasn't in Israel. There was a constant struggle with those enemies. There's a constant struggle as long as we're in this flesh with our sin nature. Christ, let's put it this way, in John 17, in verse 15, that I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldst keep them from the evil. 